Andrea Constant walking into a packed courtroom Tuesday where she gave tearful testimony about an alleged sexual assault by Bill Cosby 13 years ago. We are just so proud of her for maintaining her composure and I think she has questions to the best of her. The former Temple University employee testified about what she says happened in 2004 at Cosby's Pennsylvania home. She says she saw Cosby as a mentor, and when he gave her three blue pills to ease her stress, she took them, but quickly started feeling dizzy. I was trying to get my hand to move or my legs to move, she said, but I was frozen. Constant says Cosby then sexually assaulted her. I wanted it to stop, she said as she cried on the stand. Cosby, who has said that their encounter was consensual, sat rather stoically during her testimony until one point where she got somewhat graphic and he began vigorously shaking his head in disagreement. Constance's attorney tells ABC News she was amazed at Constance's composure and doesn't think inaccuracies in her story are problematic. Do you think it'll be problematic for her, the inconsistencies in her statements? I was a prosecutor for a very, very long time. That's not uncommon. Police officers make mistakes, lawyers make mistakes, judges make mistakes, jurors make mistakes. We all do. And another high-profile trial is underway in Massachusetts as a woman is facing manslaughter charges for encouraging her boyfriend to commit suicide. Prosecutors say 20-year-old Michelle Carter was texting 18-year-old Conrad Roy III back in 2014, convincing him to take his life. The two exchanged text messages as Roy locked himself in his truck, killing himself using carbon monoxide poisoning. Carter also ordered Roy back into the truck when he had second thoughts. It was the defendant who ordered him back in, then listened for 20 minutes as he cried in pain, took his last breath, and died. The defense argues Carter tried before to talk Roy out of harming himself and blames her behavior on her depression medication. They say even if somebody supports another individual in suicide, it does not make that a homicide. And must see video now of Bear breaking into an apartment in Colorado. Once inside, that bear takes its time snooping around the place, taking a peek outside, then has a little bit of fun. That bear pounced on a piano before making its way out. No one was at home at the time, thank goodness, and that bear has not been seen or heard from since. So that was an apartment, so we're going to assume that's a ground floor apartment or yeah. that bear may have taken the elevator. <laughs> All right, you or has a key to yeah. get in. <laughs> I mean, he's wandering around like he knows the place. Right, that's crazy. Yeah. Fortunately, nobody home, nobody injured. Yeah, here, seriously. Something you don't see every day for sure. Egg, uh, yeah, thank you. And you don't see this every day in uh, June the 7th, seeing cloudy skies no. and such chilly temperatures, but it's only temporary because the warm-up's coming and the heat wave's coming, first I one of the heard. season. Let's uh, give you a little time lapse here. This from the uh, NIST in Gaithersburg. 58 degrees wow. at noon. Or does that say 68? No, 58. Oh, good. I don't need new prescription for my glasses. <laughs> so uh, that's the story. And it's been that way all morning long. A little breaks of blue sky now and then. Most of the rain we've associated with this flow of winds off the Atlantic Ocean from the northeast is west of the metro area. And I think that there it shall stay most of the day. This is what we have in Doppler right now to the north and northwest to Frederick, well north of Gaithersburg, and then to the south and southwest. All that as the moisture comes on the heels of the winds out of the northeast. And that's pushing the moisture westward and that's where we're finding most of the showers develop. Most of them are light every now and then a brief little uh, heavier downpour. No lightning or thunder, gusty winds or anything like that. Just kind of a rainy, unseasonally chilly day. We'll stay in the 60s all day. I think we will see even in the metro area a little break of sunshine at times. The farther east you are from the city, the better chances of a few sunny breaks. The farther west of the city you are today, then more uh, likely you'll be stuck in cloudy skies throughout. Our future cast shows the temperature is not doing a whole lot, about 70 in some spots, but most everybody in the 60s with the moisture coming from the northeast and most of the rain winding up to the west and southwest of the metro area. We'll see some clearing overnight and towards tomorrow morning and tomorrow looks pretty good to me. It'll be partly cloudy or at least become partly cloudy. Temperatures back in the lower to middle 70s for the afternoon and that is the only beginning of a warming trend. The Nats in a makeup game with the uh, Orioles at uh, the park tomorrow night uh, down on South Capitol Street, 71 degrees, partly cloudy skies at first pitch. And celebrate Fairfax gets off to great weather on Friday, sunshine in 80, warmer in the sun 85 on Saturday, still low humidity, but then on Sunday 90 degrees, hot and humid weather. And the extended outlook is going to show the numbers make a pretty precipitous climb here, 60s to 70s, 80s, mid 80s, but low humidity Saturday afternoon for the Capitol Pride Parade. 92 on Sunday, and look at early next week. Those are big numbers 
for the uh, first half of June here, and even by the end of next week, when we cool off a bit, cooling to 90, which is still going to be about 7 degrees above average. So not unusual to have these little uh, heat snaps, little mini heat waves. This is just the first one of the season. Yeah, so hat, sunglasses, sunscreen. All good tools to have at your disposal. All right, stay mm -hmm. with us. We'll be right back. Is your outdoor patio old, worn, or in need of repair? Call Deck Ready. We'll give your deck a much needed facelift for a fraction of the cost of building a new deck. Unlike other services, we won't just wash and restain your deck. We complete a comprehensive five step process achieving incredible results. Here at Deck Ready, our services include a 10 year warranty. Plus, for a limited time, receive 50% off materials and 12 months no interest financing. Get your deck ready with Deck Ready. Call us today 301 327 2339.